Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Once you have your transition onto the tube, you'll notice that it can be a little squishy. If you want to fix that, one way to do it is to put a ring inside this transition. And this is an optional step, and you don't have to do it if you don't want. This transition here on this Saturn V, um, it's, it's very squishy. Uh, not very squishy, but it's stiff enough to that where the rocket's going to fly just fine. Um, it's mostly for when if you're worried that people are going to be picking up your rocket a lot. So there's a pattern sheet that's available, and you can download this from the Apogee Components website at www.apogeerockets.com. Go to the Saturn 1B, just type it into the search bar, and on that page you will find links to these pattern sheets. Um, print it out, um, and then measure to verify that your printer printed it correctly, because the inside diameter is pretty critical. Um, just go ahead and cut this out, and we're going to paste it onto some cardboard. And I just found an old box, and it's pretty heavy cardboard, and this makes good centering rings. Um, you can paint the back with the rubber cement, um, since you already used that before. Um, if you have the spray kind, this is spray rubber cement, which is a spray adhesive. Same thing, um, I've already gone and done that here, and it's a little bit tacky, as you can see. It's removable, and that's the thing, you want to be able to remove it. Um, and then just put it onto your cardboard. Now let me put it on the end in case I screw up and have to do it again. Um, and then we're just going to cut it out like we would any other part. Okay. And you'll also notice that there's a little notch right here. Um, that's for the inside on that overlap tab. So go ahead and cut that out too. Okay, um, and then go ahead and remove the paper. Looking good. Doesn't have to come off. Close enough. Okay, and we're going to glue that on the inside of this. So carefully remove the shroud from the tube. And first we'll check this to make sure that it fits. Okay, and that's good. I want it nice and loose uh, because we're going to glue it in here. And then we're going to slide it off. So first slide this on. Like that. And you can look down inside and see where that ring is. And then take a dowel, and if you don't have a dowel, use a screwdriver or something else. And we're gonna gently push this down in there. Uh, but when you push in there, don't push so hard that you cause it to pucker on the outside. We just want it nice and snug all the way around. Just very gentle. Oops. All right, so I got it in the wrong spot. Let me show you where it's. See my little tab right there? That was supposed to be on the overlap tab right there. It's very hard to see. All 
I want the tube to come on the outside to make sure that I got it nice and straight. Okay, so now my tab is in the right spot. Double checking the outside. Okay, then I'm going to kind of gently grip it right there on that ring so that I can slide it off. I want to rotate it as I'm pulling so that it doesn't move. If it moves, you just got to start over. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to glue it in using super glue. Okay, I've got my super glue. Paper towel. I always have paper towels in here. This is um, thick super glue. I don't want it to run. And I'm just going to put dots all the way around to get it to get started. Okay, and then I'm going to go all the way around. some accelerator here to kick it off so it dries instantly. Okay, so now it's in the middle and my shroud is much stiffer. And so in the next step, we're going to put it on the tube and then we're going to saturate it with thin super glue. So that's a step that you might want to do outdoors because the fumes can really irritate your eyes.